to us about what is happening in our body when someone is addicted. Because it's very easy to say, oh, you're addicted. But there's actually something going on. So addiction is about uh, a neurotransmitter in the brain called dopamine. Now, dopamine is the pleasure neurotransmitter. It's, you know, it's the neurotransmitter that's released when you eat an Oreo cookie right. or when you do other pleasurable activities. But the issue with addiction is, is that when you do a substance such as cocaine or um, a pain pill like an opioid, it releases the dopamine in supra-physiologic levels, which means levels that are much higher than you would see from normal everyday activities. Right. And that causes changes in the brain and essentially hijacks the brain, which causes you to then neglect all your activities of daily living, going to work, your relationships, your hygiene, and so on and so forth. So why is it that certain people are more prone to being addicted than others? Genetics plays a very big contribution. Mm -hmm. Up to half your risk of addiction is from your parents. For example, alcohol. If your parent was an alcoholic, either one, it increases your risk of becoming an alcoholic about three to five times. Wow. So genetics plays a big role. Experience, if you're experienced to trauma, for example, the loss of a parent or abuse or neglect, that also increases your chance of developing an addiction. And finally, just life stress. There's something called epigenetics, which is the field that shows that your environment can actually turn on and turn off certain genes in your body. So if you have a stressful life, a traumatic life, that can also increase the chance that you will develop an addiction.